today we're going to come over here to eat cops in College Park, Georgia. See what our buddy Stone's doing. Take a walk. Stone! Ronnie. So, what you know, bro? You, man. You, my brother. Right, How are you? Good to see you, man. All's well? Uh, all is well, man. Uh, you got a minute, man, so we can talk a little bit? Yeah, come on in, man. Come on, buddy, for you. Come on. Yeah, give us a tour, man. Let's see what you got going on here. ECOPS. Welcome to ECOPS. Hey, ECOPS is the Education Council on Personal Safety and Security. Ronnie's coming by, one of my, one of my protégés, one of the best firearms trainers in the business. So, ECOPS stands for the Education Council on Personal Safety and Security. Come on into the training room. Doing the FAA stuff, so yeah, man, we're doing that stuff for our flight attendants and pilots and crew members self defense training. It's been a good program for our for our crew members. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You know, you gotta get me on the plane. Make sure I get a free drink. So. All right, man. All right, I got one for you. Come on through. Look right on. I see you got all the USCCA stuff you got going on. Man, things are things are going well, man. Uh, USCCA uh, education and training, self defense protection for responsible gun owners. Gotta have it. If you own a firearm, you have got to look into this program. You can hit Ronnie up for it. You can hit ECOPS up for it. If you have a firearm, you need personal legal protection as well as a firearm to protect you in the aftermath of an authorized and real shooting. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Hey man, let's grab a seat, man. I'm a little tired. I've been at the range all day. Do you let's, think, man? Let's have a seat, man. Today, hanging out over at ECOPS with Stone Harrington, Chief CEO, and my mentor and trainer as well. Uh, Stone, how's it going? Good, Ronnie, good to see you. All right, awesome, man. Stone, number one, can you tell us what ECOPS stands for? ECOPS is the name of my corporation. It's called the Education Council on Personal Safety and Security. We incorporated here in College Park in 2009. All right, College Park being in Georgia, right? Absolutely. Alrighty, awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, um, Stone, uh, one thing I wanted to talk to you about, like I told you before, uh, and, and I love what you do with it, it's called Law School for Teens. Can you tell the people out here a, a little bit about the program? Sure can. Law School for Teens is just one of our programs that we have for youth. It's one of four classes under what's called our Safe Teens Project. Okay. Uh, the course is called Law School for Teens. The other class under that umbrella is called Secrets in College and University Life. Okay. Yeah. The other one is called Before Fun Turns Fatal. Okay. And then the fourth one is be called Avoiding Social Media Traps. Good point. If you would, so can you explain the social media traps program for yeah, me? Yeah, man, it's a big deal. A lot of our kids are don't know the ramifications of the things that they post on the internet. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, pictures of them that may not cast them in the proper light that they want to uh, espouse when it's time for them to get a job, when it's time for them to apply for school. You well, probably heard in the news here recently where one of our students lost their scholarship based on something that the university found online. Really? I, I miss, must have missed that one. All right, awesome. Well, obviously they didn't come to your program. Should have. <laughs> awesome. Um, also, Stone, uh, the other programs, let's touch on those a little bit. Explain a little bit about those so that way, you know, we got people getting ready to send kids to school or back to school uh, within the next couple of weeks. Let's, uh, let's touch on those a little bit. If you would touch on the other, the, the other three. Let's, let's start with Law School for Teens. Awesome. That's probably our most popular program. We have a lot of parents who are con concerned about their kids going off to school and their ability to appropriately interact with law enforcement. We teach them what their rights are, mm -hmm. how to appropriately assert their rights when they're stopped by a police officer in the car, in public, in the dorm, and at home. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And the other two? The other ones is Secrets of College and University Life. Yeah. Kids and parents, they're all excited about going back to school and may not have really looked into it as closely as they should, the possibilities and the probabilities that they're gonna run into circumstances that they're not quite prepared for. 
such as hazing on campus, mm -hmm. circumstances that where they may be either voluntarily find themselves off campus, what's the crime rate in that particular area that you may not know about before you go unless you either come to this class or take it upon yourself to find out what some crime statistics are in that local area. Alrighty, and the last one. Last one is before fun turns fail. Okay, everybody likes to have fun. Right. When it's time to go out and party, when it's time to go on your senior class trip and you're going out of the country. Some of our, some of our kids are going off and highlighting the fun part, not taking care of themselves and becoming victims of tricks, cons, ruses. Understood. Because the predators know that they may be under the influence. Okay, got you covered, got you covered. So basically you're telling them how to, how to, how to be safe and also be responsible while they're out and about or, or abroad. Yes. Alrighty, awesome. All right, awesome. Now, what's some of the other training? What's the other training that you guys here at ECOPS do? The adult programs. We have adult programs and youth programs. Okay. We can certify you in CPR. Really? Okay. The use of an AED. Okay. And beginning in advance first aid. Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, before we go any further, what does ECOPS stand for? Uh, glad you asked. ECOPS is an acronym for the Education Council on Personal Safety and Security. Okay, awesome. Now, Stone, um, as quiet as it's kept, you're one of the top training councils here in the state of Georgia, oh, your mind. Um, let's get into some of your, uh, and, and let me choose the word properly here, your armed training, your armed self-defense training. I was first certified as a firearms instructor with the National Rifle Association, better known as the NRA. Okay. Uh, shortly thereafter, um, the United States Concealed Carry Association, USCCA. Okay. And uh, most recently, Ronnie, I've become certified with the state of Georgia as a certified instructor. Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. Congratulations on that one. Thank you. Um, now, as far as your uh, USCCA classes, um, you and I both being instructors, you being my mentor as well, let's go over some of your USCCA credentials because... It, it's a it's a it's a big thing now. What's going on in the news today? Um, people being robbed, attacked, slider crime, stuff like that. What are some of your uh, what, what are some of your training certifications in that? Uh, let's start out with basic handgun. Basic handgun is a beginner's class for those people who may be new to being around firearms. We teach them basically which end of the gun is which. Mm -hmm. Get you familiar with. Um, how to interact with it safely. Okay. The next class that we recommend is home defense. Okay. For great. those people who may not want to carry it out in public just yet, we're going to teach you how to protect yourself in your home effectively. Then the other one is when you decide to carry it in public, conceal carry. Okay, great. Um, you and I are both uh, big advocates of women's self defense. Can you explain some of your women's self defense training programs? other than the US, USCCA training that you do as well? Women's classes. We have a class called Personalized Self-Defense Training. Okay. And though it's, we, we promote it as being a class for women because <clears throat> we find that women sometimes want to participate in classes together. Okay. So we make it available so if the women want to come in a group, they can do so, and we're going to call that a woman's class. Okay. But Ronnie, as we talk about all the time, the content the courses that we teach a woman or a man have got to be the same yes 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 as they should um now uh i noticed the other day uh you were practicing at the range and how often do you recommend people to practice though as often as you feel appropriate okay um firearms training range rental fees cost of ammunition all those things have to come into play when we talk about training and practicing. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, Stone, if people want to get in contact with you, how can we contact you? We've got a website called ecops.com. You can reach us by telephone, 404-963-6234. And um, we'd be glad to reach out to the people that you have on your program 
in providing good service. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And could you spell ECOPS properly for us, please? E, Echo, C, Charlie, O, Oscar, P, Papa, S, Stanley, another S, Stanley, E, C, O, P, S, S, dot com. Awesome. Stone, appreciate your time. Thanks for having us, man. Man, we appreciate it. Stop by anytime. Always. Yeah.